folks, how are we all doing? <laughs> 2017 has turned out to be one of the most horrible back ends ever. In actual fact, um, we drafted in a little bit of help from our old friend, the grassman Eddie Gamble, and he did say there that it's starting to remind him of 1985. It has always been talked about it's one the of the wet, year, one it? of the wettest yeah. years. We've been parked for weeks now, and we're trying to, to, to get a bit of grass in. And, and this is the reality. But what we've done here is we've took our TW35 that we're raffling off for Mega Wish, and we've tried to build a DVD around it and we wanted to just talk to you and show you the machines that we used and as we go through them hopefully it'll become apparent as to the method behind Gary's madness and engineering this plan. <laughs> I love the way you put it on to me now after it's happened. <laughs> yeah, Take probably. the credit or move uh, the blame. <laughs> Is that the way it works? <laughs> That's how it works here mate. <laughs> Gary, Moan, you chose yeah. one outfit. I chose one outfit. Talk me around what you did. Seven, eight, ten. Two wheel drive. Right, it's rained for about three months. I know, but it's a seven, eight, ten. Two wheel drive. Like, we all can see she's a beauty. Yeah. How did you end up with a two wheel drive seven, eight, ten? Because they are like hen's teeth. They are rare. Well, if you want a Ford, you go with one man. That's <laughs> country. Right or wrong, like well, we all know who that is. <laughs> yeah. And um, Michael kindly lent us the seven, eight, ten two wheel drive. That's what I want it for. The more to bounce off the TW, really. Like, and she did a bit of trailer work too. But yeah, she's beauty of a tractor, and she ran the more exceptional. Aye. To be fair, and there was no problem other than maybe going down hills was more of an issue than going up hills. <laughs> You know yourself, but uh, no, I thought the wee tractor did excellent, and I really enjoyed driving her. The wee tractors in five twenties in the back, like thirty eights. You know, she Aye, can good, grab good radial tires. Aye, on her, yeah. yeah, yeah, and wee bit of weight about her too. Like she, you know, for steering and that, you know, you still need weight to steer. Look at all the sizes. <laughs> wee studs in the front. What oh, are they? Like nineteens. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Where is She's that? She's dinky, like. I She's tell dinky, you. but. Well, it's not often you would have seen a six cylinder in a two wheel drive, but yeah, she's absolutely beautiful. Awesome. Um, yeah, love you know, that tractor. Well, 30 years ago, that would have been considered a big outfit for more. <laughs> 30 yeah. years on, and this is what I chose for more. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, that was one of them, I, I, I nearly bit off more than I could chew moments, but um, really and truly would I have chose for more other than uh, a self-propelled more as in a big M uh, 420, you, you physically can't get better. Um, so we'll take a wee look round <laughs> the latest and, and greatest, greatest, in my yeah. opinion, of machines for mowing. Gary, ah. we know the story now at this stage, everyone, we know the story about the, the 315 um, New Holland Berry, Berry 
kind of came on board and supplied us mm. with the tractor that we asked for, 315, to support our charity efforts. So choose a 300 horsepower tractor. If your tractor is coming in there, probably 7, 8, 10 non-turbo, probably around the 95 to 100, somewhere in and around that. That's so, what she feels like. So she's, she's generating a, that breath. She's, she, you know, they talk about 10 horse per foot yep. mowing. Yep. So I needed a set of mowers to bring me back down to the same sort of speed. So I opted for currently, uh, as far as I'm aware, the largest uh, triple gang mowers on the market, the B1000s. For as you can see, if you look over my shoulder, there she's got the belts on them. We have got the 320 CV mower she's coupled to in the front. If you can actually look to give you an idea of how big a stature that tractor runs, when you look at that mower, and you can see that's the panel. That tractor's running almost in the, the road. We don't need to say a lot about Crone gear. Like we're a massive fan right, here at Grassmen right. of, of, of really anything Crone. We have a fantastic working relationship with them. I think their mowers are just They're getting next to Yeah. Yeah. And right. you know, one complaint if if I'm gonna be honest, with <coughs> one of the complaints that you will see or, or hear is people will tell you that they're they're that little bit harder to drive, but we were confident we had the machine to drive them. Yeah. Um the second thing was I was a little bit worried about the combined weight. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. 17 ton. What was your thoughts when you first seen that all sitting out ready to go? Honestly, yeah, worried, huh? Worried about what we were going out onto, the ground conditions. Now that we've mowed with that outfit, what's your thoughts? Awesome, absolutely awesome machine. You know, I have drove a lot of machines in my life. That on them mowers was absolutely phenomenal. Uh, the, the, the way that tractor travelled the ground, and I tried her up the steepest hills on this farm, up the ways just to see, and we got the wheel slip set, and one thing and another, and we pulled her, we just let her take her time, and she never, she dirtied the ground, but she never lifted the sod. Uh, and she mowed up a hill with those three mowers, <clears throat> where I'm not going to embarrass any of the other tractors, where another tractor, an empty sales tailor, could have brought. Uh, and that was after two days of dry weather skinning. And rode into... Oh, and it wasn't the 7 8 day, it? And rode up into... <laughs> and rode up into 50 foot swords. So it wasn't paddling in the same track. And your front mower is a pretty standard off-the-shelf mower. Yeah. The B1000s have never been a popular choice in Ireland up until possibly lately because they only came with the all singing, all dancing, ice bus, bus connection. Yeah, yeah. Whereas your 870, which is your slightly smaller butterflies, they came with uh, the more standard yeah. control box. We had a couple of switches to work between your different yeah, modes yeah. and getting everything up and down. So they have now changed that. And this more here, yes, she runs in power beyond. She runs in power beyond out the back, but that's just to keep the pressure. That's for your float. Yeah, that's power. to keep the float pressure at the same pressure mm -hmm. the whole time, which is a fantastic job. But she's on your own. Very, only, very clever system yeah. that actually the way they've yeah. done that. And you only but but as far as the operator's concerned, you have only three buttons on your control box to worry right, about. So and then you can, control box, and then you in, like, interface it with your own machine. So I was able to program it that a tap on the diagonal on the joystick lifted both my mowers. Yeah. A tap down in the diagonal put them both into float. One thing I will say that I love about that there, more there. And uh, I'm going to get Nicole to show us. Will you show us, Nicole, the party piece of these mowers? You see this here, been. guy? <laughs> At that mower's widest point, she's mowing over 33 foot wide. How much of an overlap do you have at that point? You don't need me to tell you the amount of overlap she's going to have, because look, there it's there. Now, you see a big problem when you're working with belts or working with triple mowers when you're going round the headland the wrong way or the first time you always miss a bit. Now you still can miss a wee bit, but if you don't go too mad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Dro drop her down nine o'clock for me. What way's your box? Uh -huh. Wait do you see, lift her up again, Nicole. You see, what happened there was so that we weren't banging the mower off the yard and the concrete had the pressure coming from your power beyond turned away up. So it was turned up that high. All I have to do is... You see the wee round knob in your control box? No on your control box. Turn it to the left a wee bit. Yeah. Yeah, a wee bit more. Now drop them. That, an that internal ram's actually holding her up. That's all that was happening there. Thank you, Nicole. That tractor set up full RTX compliant, but... She's the tractor for the job, really. Like. You see, when we went out to mow, that had to go out the window. It was watching where you were driving. We had Chris Aiken from Michelin with us. And he did the little video for us. You can check it out in Grassman TV about the benefit yeah. of these Axial Bib Michelin tyres. Chris, 100% right. They are the daddy. We've seen it and proved it. Mm. I would love to have seen the difference with her and I... I could tell you the difference. I don't think she would have done up that hill. It'd been a lot more mess made, anyway. They just run so clean. Uh, you never see dirt in them tires. No. They don't clog up. They're, they're awesome. Oh, on the other side of this guy. Much money to buy your outfit. <laughs> you reckon? <laughs> <laughs> like what that 7810 or well, maybe not a that 7810 a 7810 yeah. maybe you know <sighs> say your average 7810 now what you'd be sub 10 grand you know something that would do that job she might not be the tidiest but she would do that job that mower's what Ugh, 5 grand 16, 17 grand aye so. it's sub 20,000 really mowing out fat you ready for the bombshell? <laughs> Go for it. Well, I'm not even going to get into exact figures, but I'm just telling you here of. now, it's in excess of 200 grand to put that outfit there on the road. And do you feel any less would do in them moors? You know? No. Like, no. no. I mean, stature ways. I don't mean spec of tractor. I mean, like stature of tractor, I, weight of tractor. Look, I, I have heard stories of guys <coughs> running them in smaller tractors. When I get into them wet conditions and stuff, I think you need. I think you don't. Not only do you need the horsepower, and that's factory horsepower. I think you need the stature of a tractor to hold against them. You're hanging, you know, almost four ton off them back arms of a tractor out there, and then at the front you're putting pressure on there. And she handled it with absolute ease. The one thing I will say about the power, she puts the power. She definitely can transfer the power. Because on the hills, going forward. You weren't going forward any faster. No, I wasn't. Absolutely. I was not. able to no. go up the hill, taking the full 30, yeah, yeah. 30 31 uh, either out a wee bit. Foot, and probably had a couple of footers there. He said, not been mowed, but we'll not get into that. And I was able to come up the hill at the same speed, if not maybe faster at times. Me. There's no doubt about it. So, like 30 years, we've went uh, from 10 foot to 30 foot still slightly faster. Yes, you're up a lot of money. Well, Efficiency is more... Efficiency is there. It is, like, there's no doubt. But in fairness, the two of them running as a pair was a great outfit, I felt, because I was fit to do all the unhandy bits, should I say, and let that thing do its work. But she know? was brilliant when she went in, even opening up the field <coughs> there. She was brilliant, just up into the corner. I yeah. dropped the belt down that side, just pulled that wee bit in flip the belt bag up again, down round, any wee odd bits just dropped the belt down, pulled it away and it meant when we were coming in with the tethers and rowers and on that point we must go now and take a wee look at the tether. Okay. Look at the size of that there, now we we just wanted the tether feel because I, of course I had to have it, as Gary says I just started carting stuff home <laughs> and we went out but the, the, the weather was skinning real well and we just thought you know what we'll give it a wee tickle and I set her up that she was just nicely tickling the ground but she has a feature on her that I have never seen in a tether before. Now, I could be wrong, there could be other tethers running this. I know guys go in with big M's or in with moors and they drop down the outside and they pull the outside up in, the outside sword in, because when you go in with a tether, what, is, what does it do? Kicks it and spreads so it into the hedge. The then you're trying yep. to come in 
with a rake and you're coming in with these 50 foot rakes uh -huh. now and you're, <laughs> you're you need eyes on you like oh, you know so it's not a lot of room for air like come out to this side here because this is the side you have to go around Gemma will you show us this rakes or this tether's party piece when you see what this tether does boy on the outside run so Gemma pulls a wee rope there that activates a wee switch over and as she presses the hydraulic <laughs> first run round the field where does it kick the grass <laughs> and if you judge the tendon right you have a lovely wee gap for the rake to come round so and that and you know, she, oh it just makes it so uh, much easier for him you're, you're giving him from, plus you're not, if that's you're the wire you're giving him that there to work right. with plus and you'll you've see no that wastage either so Jim will bring her back in Now, where do you see how nimble it ends up? Do I lift her up? Fold her in. Eh? Lift a wee bit of gear there. Wait, she goes under wee bulk. She goes under wee bulk. And then, health and safety, she just sets her down, oh, up comes side your side railings, well. that's her, road ready. That's a nice bit of cat. That's nice. It's, it's quite expensive, but not getting into the money here and this here, it's just a real nice job for that. Now, tractor's a little bit overkill on it, but whenever Yule Kane was giving us it, I thought we'd do that there. Thank you, Gemma. That's nice. That is nice. Uh, Lovely looking outfit.